In today's session, we're going to have a look at SAP BODS, ETL, Excel to SQL, and HANA database, part two. About the trainer, I am Vijay Lakshmi Balakrishnan and my core expertise is in SAP data migration, finance and controlling, business consolidation, business warehouse, business planning and consolidation and business objects data services. I have around 25 years of experience out of which the first 10 years is into domain experience and the last 15 years into SAP implementation and support projects. Each challenge is an opportunity. Make the best use of it. Change is the only word that doesn't change. Everything else changes. Best thing you can give to another human being is building their self-confidence. Teach them how to fish and don't fish for them. The contents of the session is as follows. Using Data Services Designer, we are going to create a project, under a project, a job, under a job, a workflow, under a workflow, a data flow, under a data flow, a file format, query, data store, and template. We're going to validate the job and execute it. Data Services Designer. In this session, as a simple example, we're going to create a new project and its subcomponents in Data Services Designer to extract data from an Excel file, transform it using a query, and load the transformed data into SQL Server Database and HANA Database. Data Services Designer is a developer tool which is used to create objects consisting of data mapping, transformation, and logic. It is a graphical user interface based and works as a designer for data services. This is how the subcomponents of the project would look like after we completed the practicals. Create project and subcomponents. Project. Project objects group and organize related objects. Projects can contain any number of jobs, workflows, and data flows. Batch job. A job object groups workflows and data flows. Workflow. A workflow contains the order of steps in which the software executes the job. A workflow is a reusable object. It executes only within a job. Use workflows to call data flows, call another workflow, define the order of steps to be executed in your job, pass parameters to and from data flows, define conditions for executing sections of the project, specify how to handle errors that occur during execution. Workflows are optional. Data flow. Data flow defines the flow of data from sources to targets. It is used to identify the data source that you want to read, define the transformations 
that you want to perform on the data. Identify the target table to which you want to load data. A data flow is a reusable object. It is always called from a workflow or a job. File format. A file format defines the type of source data, whether flat files or Excel files, etc. Query. A query maps columns from the source to the target. Data store. Template. A data store template is an object representing the target table into which the data loads. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments section below and we will answer them as soon as possible. Let's move on to the remote desktop server to continue with the practicals. This is the remote desktop server and I have the source Excel file on the desktop. It consists of a count number of seven variable length characters description of 25 variable length characters, amount, or, which is numeric, and debit credit column, which is six variable length characters, and account nature, which is 10 variable length characters. Let's save this file and close it and refresh. Let's log in to Data Services Designer. Hannah User. And enter the password. Enter. Select the repository and click on OK and enter the password and click on OK and click on continue. Let's create a new project. The server is a bit slow. Click on create and select the project.
then right click and click on new batch job rename the batch job and under the batch job this is the workflow icon drag that icon and rename the icon workflows are optional so under the workflow let's create a data flow rename the data flow So under the data flow, we have to create a file format to link our source file. So click on file formats and click on Excel files and right click and click on new and enter the name of the file format. Click on file location sorry click on directory and click on it's on the desktop so click on OK and click on the file name select file and this is our file all accounts underscore Excel click on worksheet and it's sheet one and click on use first row values as column names and click on import schema and change the field size so account number is seven variable length characters or war care and description is 25 for care amount is numeric and it is double in BODS and it doesn't allow us to change the field size debit credit is six characters and account nature is 10 characters and click on OK and we have our file format here drag it into our space and click on the magnifying glass and this is our data source data from the Excel file okay let's close this and drag this a little bit up and now we're going to create a query so this is the icon for query drag the icon here and connect the file format to the query and now double click on the query and select the fields from the source and drag it to the right hand side box which is the query under query drag the whole uh, all the fields and so we're mapping or we're mapping which field has to go to which field value in the query now 
the next step is to create a data store. So before we load the data into SQL database server and HANA database, database we have to first inform data services designer that we're going to use them as a data store. So click on data store, right click and click on new. So we have to define SQL data store. SQL data store and its database and the type is Microsoft and its version 2012 and the database Server name is sample one and the database name is test pro. The user name is test pro user zero zero one and the password okay and click on okay so we have this data store and in the same way we have to create one for hana so click on right click and click on new and give the store, give the name and this one is SAP HANA and the version is one point HANA 1.x and the database server name is HANA2 and the port number is 300215 and the username is HANA user and enter the password and click on OK. So we have two data stores here. Okay, so now I'm going to select a template and put it here and I'm going to give the name as SQL full name. The data store we have to choose so it's sql data store which we have just now created and the owner name is dbo and click on ok and connect the query to the template 
In the same way, we're going to create another template. And before we create a template for HANA database to store the results, we have to go to HANA Studio and create a schema. So this is HANA Studio and under HANA database, we have catalog. Right click on the catalog and click on open SQL console. And we have to type in the SQL command, create schema 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 underscore semicolon and this is the SQL command so we're going to create a schema create schema and six zeros followed by the name s training underscore BODS underscore Excel to HANA followed by a semicolon now click on this arrow and It has been successfully executed. So we have to go here to the catalog, right click and refresh. And we can see our schema here. So we're going to store the output under this schema. Okay, so we've created in HANA database. Now let's go back to data services designer and here I'm going to create a template for HANA database. So control V giving the name for the template. underscore template and I have to choose the data store which is HANA data store and here user zero 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 let's go to here and copy this Control C. Let's come back here and give on a name as Control V. Okay. Right. Click on OK and connect. To here. All right. So we've successfully connected. The query to SQL template as well as 
HANA template. Now, in order to create a repository in, um, in SQL, this is the SQL uh, Server Management Studio, and we are going to write the output to um, a repository by the name Test Pro. So this is our repository we're going to write to in SQL. So let's go back to Data Services Designer and go to the job and click on the execute icon and it's asking to save the objects yes and then before that let's validate the job so this is to validate and validate all there's no errors so let's close this and let's click on the job and click on this execute icon and click on OK. It's processing. Okay, it has completed successfully. Let's go to the data flow. So the source data is 27 records from the Excel file. Let's close this. And in the SQL, there's 27 records in the SQL data store and in the HANA data store, there's 27 records. Okay. So let's go to SQL Studio and see whether these 27 records have been written. So it has been written to Test Pro repository. Right click and refresh. Then click on tables and if you scroll down, we should be seeing ours here. Here it is. And click on right click and select top thousand record rows. And these are the 27 records written to SQL. So we have 27 records. Okay. In the same way, let's go to HANA Studio and click on Catalog and Refresh. Close this SQL console. Don't save and go to our so here is our table select that right click open data preview so this is our 27 records 27 rows retrieved okay so this is how we write from an Excel file into BODS using uh, file formats and then we transform that data using a query and then we write it to the SQL database as well as the HANA database.
If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below and we will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, please do click on the like icon. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications of new video uploads. Thank you for your time.